Hey guys, welcome back to MaxCars Donover Unification. We continue the coverage of the UGL and we finished up the group stages. So we are now heading into the playoffs where the real fun begins, if you ask me. Um, I show you here the bracket of the uh, playoffs. You see that there's a round of one and quarterfinals and people scuffled all around there. Um, basically round one is all the six players that were second in their group including me, Futumaki, the Gnome, I'm not sure, and some others. Um, and the quarterfinals is the four guys all um, were the first in our group. And there's two unlucky individuals that were first in our group and I need to play it off in round one again. This is all due to how the tournament is set up in the six group stages. Um, yeah, that's, that's how it works, it seems. Um, I myself will cover the top part where it's the myself, Futumaki and Klempe and the bottom part with Nomad, HMD and Number and Mr. Lenshark will cover basically the middle part you could say with Custom King, Der Gnome, Gap PR and the other uh, path you could say is Rex po po Poisson Reve. I want, wanted to look up the name because someone told me that I completely mispronounced it but I forgot and Koiken. So we will to start today with the match in round one, the Laughing Max, myself against Futumaki. You can see here the draft. All the matches here from now on are best of fives. So there are five factions picked for each player and two banned. There you see the problem with the faction pool with only 14 factions that the last pick is not really a pick. It is what is left over for you. So this is a little, I would say not, not a well thought out. Uh, thing about the draft and the uh, faction pool, but okay, um, let's head into the picks and bands. Futumaki banned Emperor's Children and Eldar. Mm, not sure why he banned Emperor's Children of me, but okay. And I picked a uh, band uh, Mechanicus because I saw him. Him his Mechanicus is really good, and Chaos Marines because I do not want to play against Chaos Marines. Basically, the picks for Futumaki are Thousand Suns, Sisters of Battle, Orcs, Black Templars, and Tau Empire. My picks are <laughs> very, uh, how should I say, un, un, uh, a very expected, you could say, Imperial Guard and Steel Legion, but also Dark Angels, Blood Angels and Space Marines were then the last. I had uh, the choice between Tau Empire or Space Marines and I'm really not good with Tau Empire, so I chose Space Marines, although I'm also not very good with Space Marines. But okay, these are the picks and bands. We will now head into the first map, which is for the round of one always moon base. So see you over there. And here we are on moon base. On the left side playing orcs it is Futomaki. On the right side playing Steel Legion it is the laughing max myself. So we have uh, Steel Legion versus orcs. Very thematic matchup indeed. Uh, Steel Legion Armageddon versus orcs. Uh, he goes for boy Hut opener. Not seeing a gen yet. He goes for Slugger boy, slugger boy, Gretchen, which is totally normal. Reinforcing is Gretchen, but he should probably start a generator, I think. Let's see if he will do it in time. That's the standard opener as a gen and then into a shooter boys. He's not no gen opener, then he would normally build a war burner. So I'm not sure what, what his plan is over here. I myself go, uh, sorry, uh, this is my side. Go for horse opener, one uh, ammunition bunker into Jen, but I'm also putting up a sneaky uh, Trantler turret, which is uh, yeah the, currently the best turret in the game due to its armor type. So I figured might as well put it over here and uh, <laughs> put out some horses to defend it. Uh, this will mean in turn that I am very slow on the capping on my side. I'm generally very slow because I only cap with pioneers in this build. So yeah, so the turret here now covers my uh, ca uh, capturing of the enemy strategic point. We will now have a gen, very late a delayed gen for Futumaki. And now I do what horses do best is uh, running around, horsing around you could say. <laughs> and de do using their really really uh, strong ranged pistols. And yeah, over here you see the shooter boys against horses. If I reinforce them, yes I reinforce them, I will actually win against shooter boys. That's how strong horses are. I think I will lose morale. No, not not really. The horses, the, uh, the other horses can now flank around. Rough riders is the um, real term, but yeah, I will trade very well against shooter boys here. And it's all about the Big Mac basically. 
but now I can uh, even peel up more models on retreat maybe one or two one one and then I need to run away because this Big Mac uh, with his little shooter over here is uh, very good in range you see that the morale damage of these Wrath Riders is really strong and I actually commit here I'm not sure if I'm trading here uh, favorably but yeah they, these guys have still lost morale and those uh, Big Mac will also lose morale soon you see that I'm uh, it, it takes quite a lot of resources out of my bank so I at some point need to run away I have this point up I have the points in my base almost and yeah in general it looks really promising the turret is still here as a fallback plan um, Flea Market however gets the top point has all the points in his base heading a war banner now so he is he's all things considered all right his eco is probably uh, yeah a little lower than mine because I have <laughs> I'm putting up a second turret as well haha <laughs> I didn't remember that but yeah so I completely locked down the middle uh, where I finish it though these shooters are mean not sure if I pay attention over here and yeah the Big Mac is uh, running in circles but my Wrath Riders can outpace him will I finish I will not finish it <laughs> so that's pretty pretty good for him so now I have this uh, unfinished rental turret just sitting over here other than that that's what's coming here the horse is doing some uh, bad micro on my part and yeah just yeah no more units from either side just reinforcing the tarantula turret uh, gets attacked quite a bit but I think yeah there are some pioneers coming and I want to finish it because even if it uh, is damaged quite a bit it will still deal quite a lot of damage upgrading some listening posts now to get my economy going upgrading the ones in the front we have some more uh, defense in front and now, now this uh, yes, adventure turret is finished my <laughs> pioneers run as fast as they can and yeah th you see how it peels off a slugger models left and right already oh, probably nice. paying for itself um, in the meantime so yeah a lot of horses still around and at some point I will add the real a station I think yeah not yet still focusing on my economy you see that I'm actually doing quite economy boom over here uh, something that I do quite often and sometimes it fails me horribly because I fall back in um, tech yes this is a bad I should say bad habit of mine to play too much in the eco game and oh almost the big me almost got it right into it but it's still there it cannot be repaired until I hit here too so there there's that still not having this point here um, pioneers now have finished capturing the point over here let's look at Futomaku's base here is now the pile of guns but only one war banner if I see correctly you the for the uh, very important uh, heavy boy armor you need two war banners so not sure about his resources ah his resources are really low he uh, probably needs to uh, um, upgrade some listening posts and then use the uh, income to get another war banner out but yeah he has only this shooter boy squad and some Gretchen's over here but these Gretchen's um, they are brave but they will die run away that's this one slugger boy now two has a buddy now hiding in the listening post and there comes the Big Mac he has probably still very low HP ah oh, you actually regenerated quite a bit more than I uh, expected real station is up tier 2 is now starting ah you will see on the top left on my resources and uh, tech overview that I have new icons for the tech levels um, big thanks to calculus for uh, making these icons for me these are for the next version also the icons for the tech um, levels if you, you use the setting uh, what is it restricted tiering I think yeah restricted tiering there you have the tier um, icons over there and there these are then the official now but you see them here first <laughs> a little <laughs> a very minor sneak peek of the next version you could think of but okay uh, enough talk of that you see that uh, I'm heading tier 2 and he is he's adding his second war banner so he can then add the uh, Heavy boy armor, you're already get, getting some big shooters. I think they only require the uh, the pile of guns. I think so, yes. So I'm now abandoning, reinforcing my horses too much because I want to save up some resources. Because I'm almost tier 2 and you know what, what it is when you get tier 2. Do I have the infiltration? No, I do not have the infiltration yet. Um, it's stormtrooper time. Um, I'm actually giving up this position. Is it finished? Normally uh, the finished listening post will shoot out of it um, so I'm not sure if this is finished or not um, yeah 
it, not sure about it, but I, I gladly give up this position because I still have over half the map. Um, because I have this point and even upgraded it. Now I'm tier 2. Getting the infiltration research and then getting some uh, stormtroopers out. Because infiltrated stormtroopers against orcs is mean. The only uh, means of detection early game is the Big Mac. You see that the pioneers were infiltrated a, a brief second. Oh no, it's not finished yet. But they tried to cap the uh, critical location. Did I lose one squad of Wrath Riders? All the talks about the icons and stuff, I probably... Yeah, I lost one squad. And yeah, let's see. The, the Trident Hurtled is still very mean and peeling of models left, right and center. Now the um, Rough Riders going in front for a bit. But I think, yeah, the first Stormtrooper is about to finish. And yes, I even get the Chimera add-on um, to get some Isolamander add-on as well. So I can get these special uh, Armored Fist, Armor get on Chimera thingy. But yeah, there's the first Death Deep Strike Stormtrooper. Deep Strike Stormtrooper. Uh, with, these, with these Stormtroopers, you need to be careful to not just uh, move them, uh, how should I say, Deep Strike them indirectly in the enemy range fire. Because they they look mighty strong, but they um, will lose models uh, also quite a bit. But um, yeah, they cost power and take a hell of a lot of time to uh, reinforce. Now, uh, now I. Um, decide to not engage these directly and move into the enemy base but now that the big mac is flanking me i need to answer and i think i answer with the rough riders i do these guys as you see they lot lose models quite a lot and the reinforcement rate is really low so um yeah this is very lo um, late reaction now i have some grenades researched getting some a squad cap increase and there's see the first grenade launching in these rough riders can also uh, throw grenades not sure if I do it. The uh, Big Mac is the only detection, as I say. So if the Big Mac dies, <laughs> Stormtrooper <laughs> survived with one model over here. These Wrath Riders um, have now only four models, five models, I think. And yeah, I think, I, yeah, I used the time while he's fighting over here, killing a listening post now, going for the War Banners. The War Banners is the only building that detects, really. So if I kill this and the Big Mac, I'm good to go. Stormtroopers need to stay over here. And probably getting the last one, no, getting some infantry health because I had uh, was supply blocked, uh, you could say. So these guys will now all be more healthy, even the rough riders as well. And and yeah, a little tip: always reinforce the squad members first, and then add the sergeant. Sergeant is quite a, uh, cost costly and is also uh, takes even longer to get on the field than the models uh, alone. So you are better off getting the models first and then the sergeant. And now the Dioc deep swim stroke troopers. Squad number three, the limit of three, is now fully complete and is put in. Do I even get yeah, get an assault camera because I had the two add-ons finished, so this assault camera will give me some uh, vehicle armor backbone to this army. I'm not sure if it's the one with auto cannons. I'm not really 100% uh, sure I get, uh, anymore of the current version. I have played beta so much. Um, is it with? Yeah, this is the one with auto cannons and can get later on the hunter kill I killer missile as well so this is my um i should say fallback plan if fudumaki somehow got into tier 3 and some vehicles yeah but he calls gg a lot of dead orcs in the middle quite a battlefield basically all the 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 fighting was in this area over here where i took the point or defended the point took the point and he took over the point and all the fighting over here and some minor fighting in his base so yeah, my aggressive opener with Tyrannosaurus Turtle paid off. He never really got a foothold apart from his base and this point over here. So he was not able to take down the Tyrannosaurus Turtle. Um, his opener was a little slow in that he is Jin was a little lower, but uh, slower. But yeah, and overall his micro and stuff was really good. So I have to lead now 1-0, and we will see how the next match will go, the next game. The monkey can choose the map and then we will see what factions we pick for that map. And here we are on, on Deadly Fun Archaeology. On the left side, playing Sisters of Battle, we have Futumagi. On the right side, playing Blood Angels, it is me, the Laughing Max. I go for a scout opener, as you can see here, with the uh, uh, plasma generator into armory to get some shotguns out of the, uh, on the field. And he seems to go for a Seraphim opener, so this can can be quite interesting how, how this. Uh, these two strategies uh, end up going over. How should I say not going over? How this will 
pan out is the word I was looking for. So I'm choosing this build order because I want to have fast map presence, getting the strategic point in the middle really fast um, because of that. And I think I go for four or five. Three for now. Four. Four, okay. I think you can go up to five. I go for four now because you, yeah, you have quite some uh, resources to put into them if you want to give them all shotguns. And we will see one squad of Seraphim. So not the totally mega optimized build where you get a uh, delete the prism and teen sanctuary. This will give you more options later on if you want to go for cannoners and inferno pistol. You basically have to wait a bit for before getting the second Seraphim and need to um, add a generator rather soon. And I think I read somewhere on the YouTube comments about this guy on this uh, on this banner. I think it's the, some some sort of Polish Pope or something. I, I know that uh, Futimaki is a Polish guy, so I think yeah, this is a uh, some joke on the on the on the Polish Pope being like on the Sisters of Battle and the Pope. <laughs> oh, I finished it. Okay, this was close. Whew. If I haven't finished it, this would be really bad. I even can I upgrade it? But um, hindsight, maybe not the best idea not sure because i need the resource to get this this was not will you get it up ah, too late slow max slow hands and now we get the shotguns and kill off one seraphim model and soon to be a second seraphim model and if they jump not jump away even a third one even have grenades now and throwing in some grenades so yeah but this point uh, this impulse is getting started this one is not so yeah, the, he can in fact also decap this if he wants, but I can also throw grenades if I'm aware, which I'm not. There it goes, grenade. I think he needs to jump away or we'll lose the squad. Um, even more grenades and one one model got reinforced and it dies. And he has a full on squad wipe here with his first Seraphim squad. So this is very, very bad for him. What is he going uh, for now? Adding the cannoners now, which is way better than uh, Seraphims against these scouts with shotguns. So I need to retake this point and now not going on offensive, it seems. Actually going for full on critical location. Um, I think the reasoning is that the scouts aren't really good at bashing buildings. Maybe that's the reasoning. I, I cannot really get behind my reasoning here. I mean, it's quite expensive if you get uh, all these guys shotguns. Yeah, yeah, you see. Poof. If they hit, it's like 30 damage or something. So yeah, this is why I opt for getting all the points on the map and try to get to tier two rather quickly. You can um, get tier two with blood angels really fast because it only costs you 100 power. Looking on the economy side of Fudomaki, he has spent all his resources for now. Upgrading some points, getting... Uh, he, had, he did go for Inferno Pistols, so these um, missionaries also get now shotguns. So we have shotguns on shotgun action. Two guys with shotguns against two guys with shotguns. One have also grenades. And um, yeah, will they now go into, go into melee? Uh, anyway, it's a bad idea. He will even will heal his missionary and now he have the uh, cannoners with Inferno Pistols. So this is really bad news for the scouts. You see these knockback from the shotguns, uh, some of their own medicine. These guys even now lose uh, control because they have lost their morale, so they need to run away. Come on, Max, micro your guys. Yes. I still got all the points and I'm heading to two, I think. Yes. I'm adding even more generators. I'm not sure what I'm wanting to go for on tier two. Probably some land speeders or something. His tier two is also half way done or uh, a quarter way done, a third, and mine's halfway done. So he's not far behind on the tech. And he has currently the stronger army, quote unquote. This, this is his army, but it is stronger than mine. Even the grenade was somehow misses. This is a really bad idea. Max, why you do this? You just peel models. It, it, it's not dealing damage and lose so much models in the meantime. Just preserve those skulls for later. Come on. Getting now also the barracks because uh, to choose a path, you need the barracks. So. My tier 2 is almost done, his tier 2 also not far behind and he has only this cannoners and in tier 2 you can imagine what he will go for, uh, probably Celestians, everyone goes for Celestians because they are so good. Now getting the barracks, let's see if I go for wings, 
Lass mal Pistol Walk hier. Und schon jetzt. I go for Might, actually. So, what do I go for then? Tactical Squad. Ah, now I remember. I wanted to go get the veterans to get some melee stuff, don't I? Plus my pistols as well. I can get for infiltration. Yes, I do get infiltration and get the sergeants. The sergeants will also get plasma pistols on these scouts. So you have then infiltrated guys with plasma pistols, but again, Sisters of Battle use always have these missionaries to deal with, which uh, will detect. Not sure if this is the uh, best idea. In the end, we will see. And there it is. The first squad of Celestians is out getting the melter gun, which I am not a big fan of. You can get a multi melter because it also deals more or less the same damage against infantry as their basic guns. But getting for the melters is against a pure infantry build not that uh, needed, you could say. Getting bionics upgrade infiltration is almost there. I'm actually not sure why I did go for these uh, space marines here. I get a sergeant and everything, yes. Maybe I needed, wanted to have some backbone here, but you can see that this guy, little guy with the shotgun, ruins my whole day because he has some detection. That's the second Celestian squad. And yeah, we are lost, they say. And there's even the cannoners on the backside uh, shooting some inferno pistols. There's, uh, yeah, they lose one model, but not more because they also has like lay, lay on hands, I think it's called. So these ladies will not die at all. And there it goes, the veteran squad was my idea. We have something in melee for those. Celestians because I thought maybe I can counter them in melee with blood angels you know these guys like melee a lot but I'm basically losing all my scouts over here and yeah needed to retreat with my normal, normal space marines now I have these veterans going into melee what they can really do well I think even lose but losing one model already and yeah they have bionics now so they are tanky and they will deal quite a lot of damage against this cannon as there's the second squad of veterans coming in with their little mohawk <laughs> but the uh, the uh, cannon has used blinding light so they will not hit even in melee uh, they will look um, menacing but there's ah oh, there's also the confessor now get, dealing some melee uh, increasing the damage dealt by all units around i think it's 15 percent and also adding quite a lot of damage with his little inferno pistols and flamer skull probe over here has some mean abilities as well now we're getting the uh, reclusium because i wanted to get the uh, uh, High Priest Compulio, I think it's called, which is a very good uh, combination with these veterans because he's basically a apothecary on steroids. Yeah, probably not the best best idea over here. Oh, there's even the, the Emperor's Wrath, I think it's called, killing almost all <laughs> my Space Marines over there with one ability. Jesus Christ. And now you see a lot of beams going over here, a lot of pew pew, a lot of beams against these guys getting in a grenade that's nice but yeah that's uh, not very promising over here losing models left right and center now getting another space marine squad but yeah you can see the writing on the wall GG will be called soon and this will be a one-to-one -one for Futumaki there's even now some seraphim squad added again to add some mobility over here they can use the angelic visage and can get there yes the veteran Superior, Seraphim Veteran Superior, which uh, allows them to also use a plasma pistol. They also have crack grenade. So yeah, this was a losing game for me. So it's now tied to 1-1 one, one, and I can choose the next map. And yeah, I'm, this was played uh, so long ago. I, so I do not remember really liking the Pope stuff on the side of the Celestians over here. So yeah, so it's 1-1. Uh, one, one. So it's not a sweep this time for either player. Let's see uh, what map it will be and what faction. And here we are on the third map, Blood River, on the southern side playing Thousand Suns, it is Futumaki. On the northern side playing Dark Angels, it is me, the Laughing Max. I chose this map and Dark Angels in the in the hopes that I could go for a quick rush game as I did against Koiken. So I saw that he has Tau Empire, Black Templar and Thousand Suns in the pool, so I thought if he picks Tau Empire or Black Templar I can make here a quick quick and dirty scout rush and win the game but he did the right thing and basically counter picked in in his head you he didn't saw my picks um we, you basically pick your factions and say to referee and then you, they, the matchup will be announced so you do not know the pick of the enemy 
but he blind countered uh, Dark Angels over here with a thousand suns. Thousand suns aren't really good, or are really good in, in resisting these uh, scout rush mainly to Rubik Marines normally and their um, Sorcerer Lord. So, but he go, did go for Screamers, which kind of plays in, in my favor because Screamers I can outrun and deal actually some damage. Rubik Marines, on the other hand, they are really beefy and will not uh, take a lot of damage against these Scout Marines and will trade favorably, I think. So I g changed up my build order from a total Scout all-in to a Scout Harassment with one generator, which I saw uh, Kirk and play and also had a little talk with... Um, yeah, I, I basically know that this is more of the scout harass. You build two scout squads that harass your opponent with and two more scout squads capping your stuff with, Go only going for one generator with the idea in mind to upgrade all the generators as soon as possible. Yeah, and uh, uh, Futumaki goes for a screamer opener, also pretty standard. A demon gate into Runestripe construct all Thrall wizards and then the uh, uh, sorcerer lord, so pretty really standard over here as well. He's, uh, he does the right thing with his wizards and forcing melee combat because he saw uh, what great disruption they have. So you can only uh, kill them in range, really. But there's the also now getting for what does he go for? Did he choose already? Come on, I want to I want to see it. He goes for illusionist. So this, yeah, clone and confusion. Confusion is the big kicker here, I think. Okay. This is a lot of talking. Uh, and yeah, we have uh, scouts here. One one or two more scout squads than screamers, so I can kite these um, demons quite well. Upgrading my listening post as soon as I possibly can. Up, Getting even now also Servitor to uh, be faster in the capping game this, the, against the sorcerer. I need to run away, of course, because he's quite a chat and will not be killed easily. Will he get a second screamer? Not yet. He is upgrading one silver spire, which is uh, probably the best position to do so and it goes quiet for a bit because I am upgrading my economy and he is trying to set up his economy as well and trying to find the opening uh, with his screamers but only one squad of screamers will not be uh, a big deal I can always run back to my listening post which will deal some damage he comes in with the source lord now and probably trying to kill a generator over here this listening post is now getting upgraded so I think it should be in range confusion spell being used here and I even run in uh, with this so the scouts are now shooting against each other so and the screamers can go in but he turned back okay and it procs again this is the right one this is the clone clone died immediately so the clone not sure how, how good it really is but yeah I need to uh, start to hit this source so you see the damage against this generator is absolutely mean. The servitor is now is next on his attack. Is now getting slowed and stunned, but is able to run away, which is uh, quite a miracle. The listing post over here getting attacked as well. Now adding the barracks because I need to have the barracks or armory to tech up. I think I forgot it. I wanted to tech up and then I thought, oh shit, I need a building. <laughs> yeah. So what is he going for? Another generator, so he can. Yeah, he can soon tag up as well. He will tag up probably before me because I made this mistake. So uh, to uh, make up for the mistake, I will use my power in upgrading the listing post, however. So I will have at least some economy to go for. Um, but now can uh, click the tag up button as soon as this barracks is finished. And come on, I, I'm starting to reinforce something also. So yeah, not the best. Uh, execution over here. Now I can click the button. Max, past Max, please click the button. You have the resources for it. There you go. How is this tech going? He's yeah, taking up getting the dark library, which is pretty mandatory. A lot of pew 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 and these screamers will need to jump away. It is in the end two screamers getting away. I think one freshly reinforced in the air. So yeah, he has basically the sorcerer about to um, fight for him and I have a lot of scouts now coming in and I think all my scouts can deal with this also with half health at least they can kill off um, if they can force off the source or he I can now one two three four it's my four initial scouts um, go on attacking these uh, points over here I can try to cap the middle or even try to defend elsewhere I think I go yeah to cap the middle I can even force 
focus one guy back. Oh no, I have this critical location. So I go for the dividing stuff because I do not need to stand here with four units. I can also start capping these points, adding more and more generators because I think I want to add a dreadnought in tier two, because why not? Tier two, is it done already for him? It, it sure looks like it, because he was going tier two as well, I think. Or is he late on the part? No, no, he's tier two. Favor Zinch is a tier two and he got so chosen. So his tier two is faster than mine. As I, as I said before, this the delaying the barracks was the big problem. You see that I have now a hell of a lot of resources, adding the machine knife now, adding more generators because I can, so I really need to use my resources. This float will not help me a lot. Maybe I can get a fast tier three or something uh, out of it because this was all planned, of course. <coughs> adding now the tech marine to help out here and getting the point in the middle. He has no army to speak of yet. There's the chosen. There's the uh, Favors of Siege upgrade, Demonic Manifestation, Demonic Swoop, all the upgrades for one squad of Screamers. So this is, if I uh, can crit uh, criticize one point that he didn't go for a second squad of Screamers. And now I do get the vehicle cap increase and probably one Dreadnought after it. So yeah, he's attacking this point. I'm not defending yet, I'm capping this point and my scout's running over. <laughs> Did I start tier three? <laughs> So this is really greedy. I'm get, taking, getting attacked on run from with the source slot, with, which has now two illusions, which has, um, has one squad of screamers and chosen, and I have only scouts. That that's it. I have scouts. Holy shit! Wh what was I thinking? That I can hold off this with just scouts and iron will of the emperor or something? I, I should really go for a razorback or two here now. Heading? No, I go. No Techno Marine? I'm not. What do I go for here, really? Company Master. Okay, that's something at least. But other than that, I have no real means to ex even go for the Eco upgrades. <laughs> I'm so greedy! I'm so freaking greedy. And what does he go for? Um, now, the Herald of Siege, very good choice. And he needs to probably get an Occult Forge. I now get the uh, Dreadnought, finally the Dreadnought. And he runs into my base. These uh, Scout Marines got slowed and he runs back for some reason trying to kill my uh, sentry post over here but tier 3 is almost done so as long as I'm keeping him away from my production buildings I have a chance here to to shoot him down I think Dreadnought is now coming out I mean think immediately going for I have no armory oh no and the sink arrow detected no this was such a good game Oh no, oh no, this is so sad. Why has, has it to be a sink arrow? <sighs> this is really sad. I, 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 I think I have saved up the replays somewhere else so I can try to uh, reopen the replay and, and uh, salvage it, but I don't think it is, it is possible. <sighs> I can tell you the story of this game. I barely hold out here, yeah, really barely hold. Um, and he kills some of my production buildings. I am tier three now. I will add the uh, the hero building in tier three. The um, and get uh, basically I get lion. I get this point at some point while while he is killing my base. I build some stuff over here. Get lion over here. Get some devastators killing ba his base while he is busy over here. And in the end, it was basically lion carrying the day. So uh, I really wanted to show this game because there's Lion L. Johnson. Ah, oh, this is sad. <sighs> Sync error stuff. And this is again played on Dawn of uh, Dawn of War Online because he uh, he couldn't make Steam work. So you see a Sync error in Dawn of War Online. This is my take on it. Anyhow, um, this is now a two-one for me. Really unfortunate that we cannot see it, this game full out in the end. But yeah, it's basically two-one for me, and it's uh, yeah. I, I can take the match with the uh, next map or Fudumaki can start a little comeback. We will see in the next map. And here we are on the fourth map. Titans Fall on the southern side playing Black Templars. It is Fudumaki. On the northern side playing Space Marines. It is the Laughing Max myself. So I, I didn't have the uh, um, replay again for the uh, last map match. So we, uh, yeah, I can only tell you that it was a heck of a game and I yeah, sadly cannot show it to you. 
Uh, hopefully no sink error again over here. And yeah, it is Space Marines. I go for a Chapel, op uh, chapel Barracks opener into a Plasma Generator. So going for, I think, three, yes, one, two, three scouts on this la rather large map, trying to uh, um, capitalize on the fact that uh, Black Templars are really slow in their capping game because they have really low model, uh, no, no, so to say, squad uh, count. You see only two capping squads are available in the first point. Again, the Pope over here. <laughs> so yeah, he has the two Crusader squads and goes for the Castellan over here. And I, yeah, I even trying to get his points that are basically his points, you can say. First to be really annoying and then I think I get for Force Commander, yes. To uh, match the castle and have one severed, uh, one guy over here capping the nearest points and the other guys going for the farthest points and he does quite a good move in putting on a tarantula turret over here. Uh, I can try to kill the tech marine but there is already some initiates coming over here so um, yeah I need to abandon this mission over here. I get this point over here but I think he will get the decap as soon as it's finished here. Yeah. So my plan to be uh, absolutely nuisance will fail in the end. So I need to now revamp my idea and get um, to uh, my points. I mean, I have my point over here. I will get my point over here, but yeah, there's still this point on this side that is completely uncapped. I will get this point and I think I will at some point move these guys back. I, I, I try to get a model here. Will I be able to... Force commander is over here trying to kill this turret because um, commanders are really good at killing turrets. Not sure if he uh, uh, realizes and will, yes, he will realize, get in the attack marine artificer and also, yeah, destroys my hopes for getting this this point up and now getting to the attack marine. Um, but there's the castellan now and I need to run away. Run away, you fool! Getting slapped from different sides over here and yeah, at some point I will manage to go away. So yeah, my initial initial plans were completely um, denied. My economy is really low. His economy is barely, uh, basically the same, barely higher on requisition. I now have scout uh, sniper rifles research. So my idea was to go for scouts with snipers and force commander uh, in general, because I thought I can peel off some of these crusader models, making them go go super sellers and be useless. Didn't finish this post over here. Do I get for some snipers? I do get some snipers and now I can kill some models off. Okay, N not killing a model yet. These guys need to run away. These guys will also not turn sellers because they have the castle on edit. So yeah, this plan is not really working out really well. I even have my force commander just chilling in the back of his, my base trying to regenerate some health. Um, no no need to run uh, with him, uh, run him in and lose him if you can just park him in your base and hope for some uh, regeneration. Now I have three squads with snipers so now he really needs to, uh, um, how should I say, respect the sniper of scouts. Pew pew pew. What is he adding? Um, initiates, initiates, something else. Not yet, only generators. Okay, now he can't, yeah, he goes for tier two, really nice. I'm not going tier two yet because, again, I'm upgrading listening post and I got, uh, was really, how should I say, an expensive opener because I got the uh, snipers and everything. So I add a generator now and I just now realized that I haven't got this point. <laughs> so <laughs> far from a perfect game um, uh, from me here, but yeah. His tier 2 will actually be faster than mine, which is sad because um, my plan actually was to get relatively fast tier 2 and get maybe some flyers up because the uh, Black Templars normally struggle against uh, aircraft because they have very limited amounts of AV in general and anti-aircraft even less. So yeah, he does the right thing and actually going um, to uh, trying to deny this point over here, which he does really well. I barely saved my force commander over here. Barely. He's basically 0 0.1 health over here. But he survives. And I have my point upgraded and now will at some point start tier 2. Max, come on, do it. Really late tier 2. 
really late here too in like five minutes normally you want to have it started like at four minutes something so his tier 2 is probably yes his tier 2 is already finished adding the armory now to get the very needed upgrades for the black templars the crusader seals is the one that makes your guys not going mad anymore and <laughs> he's again harassing this guy lose killing one model with two models with sniper rifles the sniper rifles is 50 40 and 20 and the model is this is basically 85 requisition and 20 power uh, times two he just killed there really points. really high um, damage over there and yeah these scouts will not be able to kill this listening post uh, who had thought that so is he going for the crusader seals he's getting bionics not sure if he got the crusader seals already and but he still has only two squads he needs probably a command squad or sword brethren these are also very good uh, mainly focused unit that is absolutely beefy Getting tier 2 now, just waiting for the time, getting this point up. Yeah, let's see what he goes for after the Sword Brethren. I'm not sure if he has... No, he has not much. Oh, he even goes for the Empress Gentleman. So he chose a Vow already, probably the one that gives you more defenses. So his guys are really tanky lads. Um, but yeah, he does not um, go for stuff that counters my idea, which is vehicles I think I will can I yes. please max yes a little late on all the execution over here you can see the machine cult was added a little late and now some initiates going for the force commander unsupported initiates not sure if they will win against the force commander I think they, they have their wow and everything but this is still a force commander so I think they will yeah another one goes down he loses some models here which is very fortunate for me um, I ca actually can use my force commander for something useful here you can see on the minimap that I'm trying to build a generator over here and <laughs> the initiates in the end kills the force commander but here killed uh, quite a, a lot of models uh, already so yeah there's a whole bunch of sword brethren and initiates over here so this is kind of dicey I, I start I, I actually finish my thermoplasma generator so this is really Helpful getting our land speed of Tempest and vehicle cap increase getting an armory because I wanted to go for the land speed of Ricarius, I think. But the land speed of uh, the Razorback Ricarius needs an armory, as does the Rhino, so I need to get an armory. Totally uh, planned out build order again. But yeah, I get the land speeder in the air and now we'll get the land speeder Ricarius. And yeah, the land speeder is here, can get. Frag missiles, yes, frag missiles are very good against infantry and this is only infantry. There's no anti-vehicle or anti-aircraft, so these guys just can stand here eating some frags, grenades in the face, you can see. <laughs> they're doing just that. And now the land speeder will come up. I even built a freaking heavy voltage turret because this is so dire and I cannot field enough units in time. So I, I'm getting a turret as well. He will kill off this listening post, no doubt, but as the land speeder having like Six heavy boulders on the sides, having a flamer on top, and the land speed up with frag missiles and even some sculpted snipers helping out here. So I managed to hold here, adding uh, immediately my listening post back here, which is important uh, to stay in the eco game here. And the second land speed of the is coming out. I think I get them the storm boulder, and also they can get like the assault cannon or something. Yes, so I am now having quite the infantry uh, the vehicle force and he needs to go for the command squad victory. and he ju just does that the command squad give, has rocket launchers which is the best AV Black Tempers have the other AV is the oh come on sink arrow again uh, is the uh, ranged initiates with their melters and later on multi melters again a sink arrow curse you Dawn of War Online I, I tell you it's that the games I had on Steam uh, we're all without sync arrows so this game goes on for at least eight minutes again and I will slowly grind him down with vehicles he will kill off my Razorback Recarius but I will add more land speeder tempest at some point going to tier 3 and getting predators out and stuff like that and then will overpower slowly overpower him uh, that way so this I win this one as well so it's a uh, 3-1 in the end I'm taking it serious but I'm really 
really mad about the sync errors because these were, were really good games I wanted to show. For my for, for my myself, I think it was the best series I had in the tournament. So I, I, I was really looking forward to showing it and now it is a little, yeah, a little sad indeed. Hopefully this will get figured out in the next iteration of this tournament. Um, because yeah, it is really, really sad uh, happening all the time. Yeah, but in the end, it is me advancing, uh, meeting Klempe in the quarterfinals. I'm not sure which match I will show next, like me versus Klempe or the other one in the round of one, No Man versus, versus HMD. I think I, I will cover No Man versus HMD next, and then we will uh, head over into the quarterfinals. Yeah, uh, yeah, again, really, really sad over here, but it is as it is. Um, GG's to Futumaki, he played very well. I was studying a bit his play and was not sure if I can can uh, defeat him, but in the end I was able to, so I was really proud. This was um, also mentally my best performance in the tournament uh, so far. Let's see if I how, how I can manage to uh, go against Klempe. But before uh, talking on for too long, I would say as usual, guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.